Hey, in this video, we'll be going through my camp kitchen and everything that's inside of my room 105 liter box that I use for overlanding and camping. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Robert with Sherburn Outdoors and today I, I'm talking about my camp kitchen. I got a few requests after we did our last trip and I kind of did a camp walk around. A few emails sent to me asking me, you know, what, what exactly is in all of these Roam 105 liter boxes? I do use a couple of them, but I use one specifically for my camp kitchen. You know what, I thought I'd just kind of walk you through it. Not too long ago, I took everything. I had these huge, uh, big tubs from Home Depot that weren't watertight or, or dust tight. And, I had way too much camping gear, so I actually took everything and whittled it down, whittled my stove down, just took anything that I hadn't used in any of the previous five trips and just took it out up completely. So with that said, let's kind of go through it. The first thing's first, the case here itself. So this is a Rome 105 liter case. It has latches and it's completely watertight and dust tight, uh, which is great. You don't want your camp gear to have any type of dust or anything on it when you're out at the site. So, Let's kind of flip a camera around and go through what, what's all in here. Pretty simple, actually. All right, if we look and start at the top here, I did go with the lid organizer built in. I thought this was pretty handy. It had everything that I needed inside of it. So it's got these nice compartments at the top. I do keep zip locks up, uh, up, up here at the top so that I can actually wire ties for trash bags. You know, keep some safety pins, some other type of collapsible stuff. You, you never know when you're gonna need these kind of things. Uh, dish scraper. Just things that fit up here real easy. Other things that are inside here are spices. I went with this multi-spice system here, which is pretty good. Salt, everything's inside of here. And then for steaks, I do bring some stuff out in a Ziploc bag. Because you are on a space crunch here, I try to keep everything inside of here nice and simple. Same thing here as well. We've got our uh, hand warmers when we're out and about. We've been camping lately in teens. What else we got in here? We got a bunch of sponges. Go dogs, we've got some koozies. You know, when it's warm out, we do like to have some beer. And then I got one last big pouch here at the bottom. Keep inside here a variety of garbage bags, olive oil to spray the pans down, you know, cutter, dish soap that I actually do keep inside of a, a nice batch here, and then some additional uh, dish soap as well for, for doing the dishes afterwards. And that's really everything I keep in the lid. And you can see here, I've done some previous videos, but you can see this seal here really clamps down on this one right here. With, with all that, you know, we do get the dust proof. So that's one of the reasons I do like these boxes. There's some things I don't like about these boxes. This lip here still drives me insane. Uh, that, it's, that it goes all the way to here on the un underneath is just, is just way too much. So if we kind of go down to the bottom, you know, it's pretty simple what I keep in here. It's, uh, I got a stove, paper towels, we'll just kind of walk through it. But I, I do keep this nice little organizer that I, I, I could put out on the tailgate when I'm at, at camp. And I keep inside here uh, disinfectant wipes, a couple of propane bottles, a cutting board. I do have the jet boil system here. I've done a couple videos on this. This has the Luna stove inside of it as a satellite to my other jet boil system. And this is what really all this does right here is making, making of coffee. I got a, some bowls down here. I keep it simple. I like these bowls. You've probably have seen these in other videos. They are indestructible and they got this uh, enamel coating on them. And then I carry two plates. I used to carry a lot more, but I'm, I'm, I'm keeping things pretty simple these days. Again, a lighter and then a, a dish mitt and just a, a towel that I, or a little rag. That's really it for that. Other things that we have in here are the jet boil system itself. So I did a video on this as well that you can, you can look online. Um, I like how nice and round this is. If you see over there, that's my old stove. It was a Coleman Triton, love it, was very good. It was very big and very bulky. Um, so this one's nice, just fits right in there very easily. Some paper towels, nothing, nothing complicated. I just throw in a you know, roll of paper towels inside of there. Griddle, you know, I make a lot of, here's an example of pancakes. This sits right across the jet boil really nice with the two burners. I bought this off Amazon to actually fit the Coleman Triton, but uh, this works really, really well. What else we got in here? We'll get to the cook kit here in a second. Uh, but this is my coffee case, this simple little hefty container. It has my Yeti coffee mug inside of it, my one tablespoon for actually doling out coffee into the French press, and then actually a bag of coffee. And I always keep an extra rag or two inside of here as well. But that's the, the coffee piece. 
And the last piece is really uh, this cook kit that I got from Blue Ridge Overland. This thing is absolutely awesome. So this is Blue Ridge Overland gear. I did have this really big blue one. Here's some kind of pictures. It was full of junk that I just didn't need. I just didn't use any of it. Now I love these triple run bags. I use this for my tool bag. There'll be a video coming on in that future, but for my cook kit, and if we just look inside of it really quick, it's really simple. It's got a nice little Velcro out here. You do have some uh, Molly type functions here, but it just opens up and it's really, really simple. I did buy their, their kit inside here with the red ones. I do carry an extra knife inside of here. And then it's got these kind of these vinyl bags and you can see through them. That's fairly simple and you can actually rip them off. So if we open this, uh, rip it off, take a look inside. You know, I keep my cookware. So I keep two sets of spoons, knives, and forks in here. Same with the other one. I, if we open it up, I keep really just a wine opener and a bottle opener and a pair of scissors and maybe a few little other knickknacks over time in the summer. I used to keep a bottle opener for, you know, bottle beers, but now this comes into the room. It's actually built into the top of that, so I just stopped carrying them out and about. But this is this case, and it's, it's really simple. Just absolutely perfect, and when I'm done, it just fits in there really good. It's very indestructible, and it's, it's a really good product. I, I, I love these Blue Ridge Triple Run products from Blue Ridge Overland Gear. Really good stuff. All right, I really appreciate everybody's time looking at what my camp kitchen looks like. Again, I usually put this stuff up on the tailgate of the Gladiator when we're out and about, but that's all my products. I've whittled everything down. I uh, Thank you for your time. Hey, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified when we got new videos out. Everybody have a great day and thanks for your time.